It's January 2016. Despite unseasonably warm weather and poor snow conditions across Europe, the Ski Club TV production team are visiting Becerra Beret in the Spanish Pyrenees. When we uh, first looked at coming out to Becerra in Spain, um, I'd heard of the resort. Um, I hadn't considered skiing there myself. I, uh, when I initially envisaged it, I was thinking beaches, I couldn't get my head around mountains. Although it's possible to fly to Barcelona and take a transfer from the airport, the flight and transfer time is considerably shorter if you fly to Toulouse. There are regular direct flights from London, Manchester and Birmingham with some of the UK's most popular short haul airlines. The two hour drive from Toulouse to Becerra Beret is very easy. On the first afternoon when we got here, um, we got ourselves set up and then we headed down the valley to have a look at a couple of villages down there. So the Val d'Aran is a really interesting area. Until about 30 years ago when they built the tunnel through from Spain, it was actually kind of on its own and alienated from the rest of Spain. So there's a lot of influence from France in the valley. Uh, they speak their own language. There's a lot of French tourists that still come here um, and ski the area. Beautiful old towns, um, very friendly people uh, and fantastic food. And it's, yeah, it's a really interesting part of Spain to come to. We stayed in Tanau, which is basically just above Becerra. Um, at a ski inspired chalet. They're fantastic because they will provide a transfer that will pick you up from the airport. You can book lessons through them, you can organise your ski hire through them, and they make the whole process very easy. We were 50 metres from the lift, which we caught up to the main area of Becerra. Uh, Becerra itself, I was expecting it to be quite, quite a small resort, actually quite sort of rustic, with a couple of lifts, maybe not necessarily all that new, um, but quite charming. Uh, in actual fact, we've been out here, the infrastructure is amazing. The lifts uh, have been updated more and more recently. Uh, there's loads of skiing, it's about 150 kilometres of piste, uh, with masses and masses of options and sort of backcountry and touring as well. Uh, it's, uh, this place is great. There are currently over 30 ski resorts in five mountain ranges across Spain. Becerra Bray is the largest ski resort in Spain and the winter holiday destination of choice for the Spanish royal family. Despite its popularity with the Spanish, Becerra Beret is still relatively unknown to British skiers, but the resort's ever-improving infrastructure and amazing snow records are changing this. So each morning we were taken out by Tim Ite, who's the local guy. He's been here for about 14 years. He runs a ski school and he runs a chalet company. Lovely guy, um, and he knew the, the resort like the back of his hand, as you would do after 14 years. And it was nice to, Nice to hear somebody so enthusiastic about the resort even after 14 years. So my name is Tim Ite and we've got a holiday company here called Ski Inspired and a British ski school called BB Ski School. Been here for 14 years. And so the main reason I'm here is for the off-piste, not just the off-piste in between the slopes but the ski touring. Last year I was touring into, into early May and uh, it really is a fantastic area. The, f the free riding is increasing in popularity. Skiing in Bakira is fantastic. There's skiing for all abilities. There's wide, cruisy, open runs for beginners and families. Uh, looking around on the lifts, there's easy access bowls so you can ski off piece, touring further afield. Um, it's amazing how wide this resort is. You can go from one side right across to the other. It's absolutely miles. When considering a visit to Bakira Beret, it's best not to take the statistics too literally. Total runs and vertical descent don't recognise the huge amount of off-piste skiing here. Although it's in the Pyrenees, Becerra Beret has one of the best snow records in Europe. Over the past few seasons they've had 11, 12, 14 metres of snow, um, which is pretty much better than anywhere else in Europe. Um, this season the snow is still good, but like many European resorts they've suffered a little bit. But I can imagine when you do get a powder day here, it's one of the best places to ride because the terrain is so accessible and there's no one here to ride it. So skiing around with Tim, he, uh, he showed us loads of bits of the resort, some of the off-piste itineraries as well. The conditions didn't quite favour it for us where we've been out, but one of the, uh, the highlights, we were looking down uh, at, a, at, a, at a run called Escoma Crabes, uh, which roughly translated is the, uh, the Valley of Broken Goat Skulls. Uh, really impressive view from the top, uh, quite intimidating, but uh, looks like an awful lot of fun. Really indicative of the sort of different types of terrain that we've got in the area here. Complete beginners are well catered for at the Bosque area, immediately above Becerra village. Intermediate skiers will find 130 kilometres of green, blue and red pieces to keep them entertained. But for advanced skiers, there are challenging black runs and easily accessible off piste One of the no other really nice things about skiing in Becerra, uh, obviously it's in Spain, so lunch is a little bit different. 
We were cruising around yesterday, stopped for lunch uh, in a tapas restaurant, just on the side of the piste. Order from the tapas menu, really, really fantastic. Really brings home the fact you're in Spain and enjoying it. During the week, Becerra's Apro ski bars have a much more relaxed vibe than their French and Austrian counterparts. But on the weekends, the visiting Spanish fill the bars and nightclubs. The best nightlife really is the, the tapas bars in the villages dotted around, probably the best being in, in Viela. So last night we went out to the capital of the Val d'Aran, which is a town called Vieja. Um, really beautiful little town, cobbled streets, really old buildings, castles, I mean really beautiful place. Uh, and we went to do this thing called Pinchapote, which is like a pub crawl, but with beer and food. You get a little pincho, which is uh, kind of canapes um, on the bar, which you choose what you want and then you have a beer with it as well. And it's only two euros 50 in each bar. Um, it's a fantastic way to spend the evening, really social, uh, and we had a lot of fun doing it. Visiting Vieja is well worth a 30 minute round trip. This melting pot of Aranese, Catalan and French cultures has to be experienced. But one of the things that makes difference this, uh, this key resort is the ballet. Baldaran has an history, has uh, their own culture, has their, their, their own uh, food, their own language. And I think this is kind of like our uh, secret, uh, secret uh, quality, you know. If I was going to sum up Becerra in one sentence, I'd say that this is a resort for all types of skiers and snowboarders. The terrain here is fantastic. For, if you're a beginner, you know, there's nice open mellow slopes. And then if you're an experienced free rider, this place is a, is a gold mine. Um, there's so much terrain that's easily accessible and it will keep you busy for years. If I was going to sum up our quick trip to Bakira, I would say it was a really, really pleasant surprise. The resort itself is different to what I expected. Uh, the skiing is amazing. Uh, if the snow conditions are as they are most years, there's loads and loads of off-piste to be had. The culture is really, really nice. You can just chill out, uh, enjoy the place that you are actually skiing. Um, I definitely, definitely is on the list for me to come again. I'd recommend you have a look at it, although don't all come at once. I don't want to start waiting to get on the lift.